Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss the fifth problem of Code Forces Division 3 Round 927, which is final countdown. So the problem is quite interesting. So what the problem uh, says? So let's say uh, there is some countdown starting from in. So the countdown means that it will start from in and goes back to one by decreasing one element, uh, one number at a time. So it will be in in minus one, right? To one. Okay. So uh, let's say uh, the difference uh, there will be some difference between uh, the number of uh, in the digits from when we are changing from n to m-1 and we have to count the total number of such changes to, uh, to go from n to 1 so let's take some example so let's say we are at some uh, element 9 so the, the countdown starts from 9 so from 9 to 8 the only changes in one digit so there will be one change from 8 to 7 it will be on one digit change similarly uh, from uh, 7 to 6 there will be one digit change so let's consider 10 to 9 so 10 to 9 there is two digits change okay so because one is changing to 0 and uh, 0 is changing to 9 you can say so there are two digits change so from uh, 10 to 1 let's say the countdown starts from 10 to 1 so what are the total number of changes so from 10 to 9 there will be 2 and from 9 to 8 will be 1 so there are from 9 to 1 there will be 9 changes so the total number of changes will be 11 okay so uh, you can take the first example here the what is the number of changes from 42 to 1 so here uh, it is mentioned that 40 to 39 there will be two changes 30 to 29 there will be two digits change 20 to 19 there will be two digits change and similarly from 10 to 9 there will be two digits change and the, for the other cases uh, there will be one digit change or one second change uh, if you uh, go through the problem uh, it uh, says the change in terms of seconds so uh, to total number of changes will be 2 into 4 plus 42 minus 4 which is 46 so what is the uh, first thought process my first thought process was let's say uh, let's say we have uh, some number let's say 456 okay 456 that means uh, let's say uh, Let's see, let's only consider 56 at this uh, time. Okay, 56. So uh, from uh, there, so what are the number of changes of uh, two digit change? So what are the number of two digits change here? So the number of two digits change here is nothing but five. Okay, this will be 50 to 49, 40 to 39, 13, uh, 30 to 29, 20 to 19, and 10 to 9. Okay. Similarly, when I, we take 456, what are the number of three digit change? So the number of three digits change is nothing but uh, four. Why? It will be 400 to 399. Similarly, uh, 300 to 299, 200 to 199, and 100 to 99. And uh, uh, I think 100 to 99. Yeah. So there are four uh, three digit change. And what are the number of two digit change? The number of two digit change is nothing but 45. And the number of one digit change is nothing but uh, four, it will be 45 minus 4 the previous one and this will be 456 minus 45 so the problem is quite straightforward if you think about uh, some uh, order of number of digit solution so let's say you think about uh, order of number of digit solution order of let's say digit and uh, you consider that uh, the sum or here you are you are doing 45 minus 4 into something like n okay so if you take the order of 1 as sum and multiplication and uh, order of d so it will be nothing but order of d into order of 1 okay so it is nothing but order of d into multiplication okay multiplication or addition any uh, arithmetic operation let's call it as m but here you can see the time complexity the uh, constants on n is 4 into 10 to the power 5 that means there could be 4 into 10 to the power 5 number of digits and to add two numbers okay for if adding two numbers of m digits is nothing but order of m so that overall time complexity will be order of uh, d square you can say uh, order of n square so which is not exactly possible okay so uh, this solution the brute force solution uh, of calculating uh, all the digits and let's say we are multiplying 4 into n and this into n minus 1 this is our brute force solution this will not pass because the arithmetic uh, multiplication or addition the time complexity of those operations will be order of n okay so what we can think of so here you can think of that we are doing 4 into n and we are doing 45 minus 4 into n minus 1 so and we are doing 456 minus 45 into n minus 2 or here it, it will be 1 it will be 2 and it will be 3 okay 
so what we are actually doing let's take 456 only so we are uh, doing uh, four let's let's say we are doing 456 one digit operations and after that let's say we are doing 45 uh, two digits operation and we are doing four three digit operation now you will say that we are not exactly doing uh, uh, 45 two digits operation we are doing 41 two digits operation but here uh, i am including i am taking every uh, in every value of this we, I, I am considering them as one digit operation that's why i have not uh, subtracted this 4 from this 45 so if you uh, multiply 4 by 3 it will be 12 and this will be 82 and this will be 4 uh, this will be 4 uh, 411 so if we add this 3 up so it will be 104 and this will be 515 right it will be 515 now if we add these things up also so will be 456 uh, and 45 will be uh, i think uh, it will be 45 right i think um, this is uh, 501 this is 505 and i think this will be also 505 i think i have made some mistake in calculation this will be 505 and this will be 505 also so what we are doing we are just taking 456 the uh, three digits and then we are taking the first two digits and we are taking the five digits and if we are adding them up we are getting the our desired answer so how uh, this approach will help us so this approach will help us because they say what is the uh, final digit in the answer the final digit in the answer is nothing but sum of all four digits okay this is nothing but sum of all four digits and what is the second digit in the answer the second digit in the answer is nothing but sum of the only first two digits and what is the first digit in the answer it is nothing but the or first digit and uh, one thing to observe is that there will be some carries okay so let's say we are adding the first three digits it will be 6 uh, 5 11 15 so we'll add 5 5 will be our last digit and our carry will be 1. Now you are adding 5 plus 4 is 9 and our carry was 1. So 9 plus 1 is 10. Now 0. It will be 0. And our carry is 1. Now the final digit is 4 and we are adding the carry. So our answer will be 5. So it is nothing but uh, first the, the, the last digit will be the sum of all the uh, digits. The next digit will be the sum of the first in minus 1 digits like that. So let's jump into the code. So here I am solving this by a simple recursion uh, where i is the current index. So uh, let's say the c is the our current value. So uh, let's say we are at index 0 and our value will be 0. Now when we are going to the next index it will be 1 and we have added 4 here. Now when we are adding uh, going to the second index so our uh, value will be 2 and 9 and when we are at the third index it will be 15. Okay 15. So when we are at the last index, we will do what we will uh, uh, we'll put five in the answer and we will return the carry. Okay, so we'll return one. Now we'll add nine plus one as ten. So we'll add zero and return back the carry again. Okay, so now it will be one. So four plus one will be five. So and that will return back the carry. So here the carry could be greater than zero also. And in that case, we have to add the carry in our answer again. And after we are doing with the operations uh, and after our answer array is built we will reverse the change here uh, this 505 is a palindrome so we are not uh, finding the difference because because we are will be adding this 5 uh, at first uh, so let's say this is 6 okay let's say this is 6 then our uh, uh, answer array will be nothing but 605 so we have to reverse the array okay so we, after reverse the array we will print the uh, those elements so uh, here uh, the uh, the code is quite straight, straightforward when we are at the first, uh, final index this is our base case we are adding uh, the last element si minus 0 and we are uh, adding c modulo 10 in the answer and we are returning back the carry which is c by 10 similarly we, do, we are doing that for the other indexes also and at the end we are returning back the carry and uh, uh, and we are doing answer dot pb rake of 0 comma 0 because there will be some carry here also and we have to add that in the answer and at the end we are uh, reversing uh, reversing the array but uh, before reversing there could be some uh, left end of zeros or you can say the trailing zeros we have to remove those here i am removing those and after that i am reversing the answer and i am printing the answer the code uh, the problem is quite interesting and the code is i think quite simple uh, so if you have any doubt in any part of the explanation or any part of the code you can always ask in the comment section I will try to reply each and every comment. I will also provide the link of the code in the description box Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you